How much fear is in your life, your family, your parenting, your workplace, your community? Many of us don't realize the role that fear plays in our lives. We can never negate all fear. We, we shouldn't look to. And yet fear is a horrible driver. When fear motivates us, it never leads us to good and healthy decisions. So how much is in your life? There's a very simple test to see. Whenever fear is the driving influence and factor in our lives, there are four things we tend to lean toward. The first is safety. It becomes the ultimate question of whether or not something is right or wrong. How safe does it make us feel? We turn to the idea of appearances. We try to project a persona to at least look good, no matter how broken we might feel inside. Relationships become risky, so we turn to material things for peace and comfort. And ultimately, we try to grasp hold of power as best as we possibly can, believing that if we are in control of our lives, everything will be okay. But does that work out well for you? Thankfully, there is another way. Rather than being driven by fear, we can choose the way of love. And when we do so, we begin to replace safety with trust. We learn to trust God and learn how to trust one another. Rather than looking at the value of appearances and projecting a persona, we instead begin to value the heart of the matter, the heart of who we are, of who our family is. Love drives us to have the courage to actually connect with other people, not to look toward material things to bring us peace and comfort, but instead true human relationship. And then it allows us to let go of our grasp on power and to truly learn to submit to one another. Which one is better? A marriage, a, a home, a workplace that is driven by fear, or one that is truly motivated by love? That's the message of Fearless Families. Hearing God's invitation to a better way of life, a life that experiences and feels fear, but is always driven by love. Find it where books are sold or go to kevinathompson.com.